Okay, now that you know how to draw the basket, we're going to come in and put our shadows in here. So you want to create that sort of basket texture here. The way that we're going to do that is with our pencil. And for this, I'm going to start out with a 6B pencil so that I get my point across a little bit easier. So for all my across pieces, all my horizontal pieces, I want to create a really nice dark area wherever it goes under the piece in, in front of it. You know, wherever there's contrast, the thing that's dark tends to go back into space and all of your lights tend to come forward. I'm going to start this way. And what you'll notice is I want it really, really dark right here at the vertical line where it starts. And it takes just a second to get all of those lines here and you don't want them all to be the same length. You want them to have sort of a natural feel because if you look at a basket, it tends to be made of something that's a little bit more fibrous. So I can start a little bit heavy right here and then start to add my lines this way. And look, they look sort of even here. That's what you don't want. And these lines have just a slight curve to them as well as when we did the, the lines of the basket before. So maybe I'll do one more row of these just to show. And I will do a little vertical line there. And you want that vertical line, if you draw the vertical line in, we want to put enough horizontal lines in to cover it up. So if I start like this and go like that, that's not enough, is it? You need to put a few more in there to really make it look like it goes from dark to light in the middle. And you want to have that natural feel. So if everything feels too uniform, it's not going to feel natural. Also, as I'm drawing these lines, I want to sort of flick my charcoal pencil like this so that it gets skinnier sort of at the end of the line as it gets closer to the center. And the reason I want to do it this way is because in the middle it's going to make it look like it protrudes forward a little bit because with the weave it's going to go this way, like backwards and forwards, and you want this to look like it goes further back into space here, and you want it to come forward in the center so that it looks like it's going around the vertical pieces. Now the vertical pieces look a little sad like that, so if I'm imagining my light source coming in from above, since these pieces come forward, they're going to cast a shadow down this way. So there's going to be a shadow on these vertical pieces, but only going down. Because again, if, if this light source is coming up from above, there's not going to be any shadow coming up underneath. So I'm going to start kind of the same way. But if you think about it, where this, the horizontal piece comes out farthest, it's going to create a longer shadow. So I want these lines you want to do lots of lines. The more lines you do, the more realistic this will seem. But you want them to be much shorter on the sides and longer towards the center like that. And that will also help push the idea that these are coming forward at the top. So take your time when you do that to make sure that these look realistic. And that realism is going to come from having lots and lots and lots of little lines. Baskets tend to be made out of fibrous material like wood or wicker. So adding that extra texture to it with all those extra lines is really going to be helpful. You're going to be doing a still light a little bit later in the semester after we're done with all of these and there's going to be a basket in it. There's also going to be several other textures that I'm going to be teaching you, so you are going to need to know how to do this for your upcoming projects. So the next thing I'm going to do is just blend it a little. I'm going to add, and not as many lines this time, but I'm going to add a few lines of willow. This way. And the willow is just going to help the charcoal to move a little bit so that it doesn't look quite so grainy. And then just one swift movement here, like this, across, 
You don't want to blend a lot. You just want to sort of pull and pull and pull and pull. See how we're just taking that charcoal that we put down and just moving it a little just to give it a little bit more smoothness than it had to begin with. And then if you cover up your charcoal too much, or if you cover up your white spots too much, come, on, come in with a relatively clean eraser like this, something that still has a good decent point to it, and just sort of pull some of your highlights out again. The wonderful thing about charcoal is that you can always erase. And you want to do your highlights in that same slightly curved shape. And then if you've got it too far down here, we can just erase up like that as well. Okay. There. And if you just continued that out, the whole white would end up looking more. The last thing that you can do is these little triangles. You can color those in a little bit blacker, and they tend to help push your background to a little bit more black. You can make those lights come forward a little bit more as well. If it's hard to see the triangles, what I'm doing right now, if you look at the, um, the unfinished pieces down here, it's triangles like this that I'm coloring in black. because you'll know that the darker your darks are, the lighter your lights are seen. So the darks help push your lights forward and create more depth that way. That's it.